Playtime provides important exercise for our cats. It is a great bonding experience too. I am the cat butler, and as a cat owner, sometimes I find it challenging to play with my cats, Timo and Arya, as they have grown up. When they were kittens, they were excited to play with anything. But as adults, it has been harder to get them excited about playtime. At times, Timo just wants to be a couch potato. So I decided to do some research and understand how cats think about play and what strategies I can use to get my cats excited during playtime. Today, I'll share some of the strategies that worked. Before we get into the actual strategies, it is important to understand what play means for your cat. When cats play, it is similar to hunting in the wild. In the wild, cats spend about 45 minutes to three hours on a single prey. They stalk, pounce, kill, and eat. Considering cats typically require more than one meal a day, that is a lot of time spent hunting. As a result, it is important to get toys that look, feel, smell, and move like prey. Your cats are more likely to be interested in it. Toys, like a wand toy with feathers, a catnip toy that looks like mice, Puzzle toys, a ball, or a laser toy are good options. I'll focus on the toys that require human interaction. The first toy is a wand toy with a feather attached. With all toys, you want to try to imitate prey. To imitate a mouse, you want to keep the toy on the ground, make it twitch, or skitter before it tries to escape with a sudden leap or dash. It's okay to have the toy stop from time to time. In the wild, a mouse isn't running all the time. Sometimes, they need to stop and rest. If you don't see a reaction from your cat, sometimes it takes a while for them to warm up. Wild cats don't jump at the first sight of prey. Cats study prey behavior and pounce at the right moment. You can drag the toy past a cat's ambush position and watch your cat pounce on it. Occasionally, let your cat catch the toy. This gives them the satisfaction that they have caught their prey. Remember, we're trying to imitate the hunting experience of a wild cat. If they hit the toy, stop moving. In the wild, the cat would have injured the prey and possibly immobilized it with a hard smack. Timo and Arya have accidentally smacked me before and it hurts. So if I was a mouse, I think I would be dead. I find combining this toy with hide and seek helps get your cat even more excited. If you can place a few boxes where the toy can hide behind, curiosity will get to your cats and they'll start to chase the toy. This method really gets Arya into a frenzy. With the wand toy, you can also mimic bird-like movements. Occasionally, send the toy at an upward trajectory and your cats will try to swat at the toy. Wow, that jump. I find this exercise really unlocks Timo and Arya's jumping ability. Look at them go. Remember, most prey don't run towards your cat. So dangling the wand toy in front of your cat will make them lose interest. This is another wand toy I use that has a mouse at the end of it. You want to rotate your cat toys to keep them exciting. Timo and Arya sometimes get bored with the first wand, so I need to switch it up. Cats enjoy variety as much as we do, and rotating toys in and out of circulation will keep things fresh and new. That way, 
your cat will never get tired of their toy collection. And when playtime is over, put the toys away. So that each time you bring the toy out, your cats are excited. This mouse wand is great for imitating mice. Sometimes, Timo and Arya would catch the toy, and then put the toy in their mouth, and run off with it. In their mind, they have caught their prey, and it is time to feast. And when they're not looking, the toy escapes. This really gets Timo and Arya fired up. They go from a nice kitty to a ferocious tiger. Toys with catnip also make great toys for your cat to release their pent up energy. Catnip is a plant related to mint and contains an essential oil called nepeta-lactone. One or two sniffs of that wondrous oil, susceptible felines will begin to lick, chew, and roll around in kitty bliss. Though intense, that bliss is usually short-lived, lasting about 10 minutes for most cats. The euphoria translates into aggressive playfulness. At the same time, it makes others mellow and calm. For Timo and Aria, I use a bird and mouse looking catnip toy. The toy has been designed with a sewn in bag for loose catnip and can be refilled with fresh catnip at any time, allowing the toy to always be potent. One thing to note is that not all cats are affected by catnip. A ball is great to throw across the room for your cat to chase. Look at Timo and Aria go. If the ball is small enough, you can play fetch with your cat. First, ensure that the object is large enough that you cannot accidentally swallow it. Then, toss the object and allow your cat to chase it. You can use food treats to reward your cat for returning the toy. This will help your cat understand the game. A laser is also a great way to play with your cat. Just don't shine the light in your cat's eyes because it can damage them. You can use a laser pointer or remotely play with your cat from your smartphone with the pet cube play when you're not home. If you're interested in the cat toys, you can check them out at my cat store thecatbutler.co. I'll link it in the description below. If you have a cat, you know they can be quite active at dawn and dusk. Early mornings and early evenings tend to be when cats have the most energy and are more likely to play with you. In the wild, this is when cats usually go hunting. Timo and Arya can get quite wild in the evenings. What are you guys doing? Having a play session before their meal is ideal. The cats feel accomplished and rewarded for their play. After all, a meal comes at the end of a hunt. I found that scheduling play sessions before a meal has gotten my cats more active. Ideally, your cat needs at least an hour of active playtime daily. This can be broken up into as many episodes of play as you and your cat would like. I try to play with Timo and Arya twice a day for 30 minutes each, right before their meal times. However, you may need to adjust to your cat's individual needs. Young kittens are very energetic and need more playtime to burn off that kitten energy, while older senior cats may prefer less playtime. Try experimenting with different toys and times a day to find out how much playtime your cat prefers. It is important that toys are made of high quality materials and safe for your cat. 
Remember, cats swallow things easily. In the past, I had a cheap cat toy, and Timo ripped out one of the eyes. He could have accidentally swallowed it and had a foreign body obstruction. This could have put Timo's life at risk. So be careful with your cat toys and put them away when you're done with playtime to be extra safe. Cats value interaction with people. There's nothing better than getting some playful quality time with their beloved pet parent. Playing with you gives them a chance to get exercise, embrace their hunter instincts, and enjoy the kind of sensory enrichment cats crave. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner. So please join us. Comment down below, how do you play with your cats?